Hey, what's up, everyone? Mark Croson here, and today we're going to be breaking down Christian Coleman and Trayvon Bromel from the Milrose Games, and we'll start the video right now. This is the newest edition of the Performance Lab. Reach your individual goals. You don't want to just talk about straight line speed. We also want to talk about your ability quick. We break down your video. Let's make you into the quarterback I know you can become. All right, so this is a great race just because it was the return of Christian Coleman after a year of... Uh, suspension and you know really definitely didn't disappoint with a race against Trayvon Bromel and Ronnie Baker. Trayvon Bromel ran the fastest 100 meter in the world last year so uh, definitely some great competition and really the two biggest rivals right now within those kind of shorter sprints of 60 meter and 100 meter at least from the U.S. are Trayvon Bromel and Christian Coleman and both of them are widely known for having excellent starts and we could really see that here with that initial action. I really think that uh, Trayvon Permel probably had a better first step here, right? And then, and, and maybe even for better first three, right? Really got out nicely. But he kind of slowed it all down. You can kind of see it here, like as he's going through that second step and starting to transition through, he kind of gets a little bit stuck right there, right? And being able to, to transition through that second step into that third step and really ended up having to kind of overdo his action here to be able to get into that third step like I feel like he had to overextend a little bit within that right leg to get himself going where Christian Coleman's a little bit more clean through his action right a little bit more consistent one two three and starts to really get able to transition that fourth fifth really nicely and now he's starting to kind of take a lead on Trayvon Bromel and, and while Trayvon Bromel trying to stay down he's just more upright right we can see Christian Coleman is doing a better job of staying horizontal here and really does a great th job through his drive phase into his top end speed and now you can see Trayvon Bromel gets into his top end speed I try to be able to break this down to make it so you can see you know where he's at from a foot contact perspective and you know turnover speed but because of how the video was filmed there really wasn't a great opportunity to be able to see that but we are able to get a good view of you know kind of that side profile and the difference between where they're at right you can see that Christian Coleman is just more lean forward right we've seen that for a while now where he just ends up getting into that drive phase and I mean it is technically his top in speed position but he's still you know got such a forward lean that he ends up landing more out in front of it, his body right and you know that could help him in being able to generate more force when his foot's on the ground but it limits how much distance he's gonna pick up per step, right? So he's maximizing force production, uh, but he's not picking up as much distance, okay? And, and Trayvon Bromel, while you know he's gonna be a little bit quicker on the ground, not spend as much time on the ground, he's gonna pick up a lot more distance per step because he's more upright as he's going through, which is really what ends up making it so you can um, get a great view of, or a great ability to run that top end speed. So that's where Christian Coleman gets kind of stuck. The 100 meter is he just can't maintain that top end speed the same, right? But when we look at the side view here, you can see that, you know, Christian Coleman does do a better job once he gets to, to like, this is step five, six, seven, you know, in this area, he does a good job of being able to maintain that horizontal push, right? So you can see they're at a similar spot here with how their, their knees are driving through. Trayvon Bromel has his foot out in front a little bit more, and he transitions back downwards a little bit sooner than Christian Coleman does, right? And so that ends up being a little bit of a difference of, you know, how they're, they're moving. But you can see, you know, they both do such a great job of being able to get really strong knee drive, even though that, that chest is down. So like right here, we can see that his, if we just break down the angles here, he's at about a 60 degree angle right, in terms of his body. Um, and so that's a, a unique spot. So he's not up at 90, right? He's not all the way up here. He's down in the 60 as he's starting, right? And that allows him to be able to stay in that drive phase and, and really get more horizontal force is how much knee drive he's able to get or how much hip flexion he's able to get while also maintaining such a forward, and they're both like this, Christian Coleman and Trayvon Bromel are both in this position, which I think, again, really helps them in being able to get to their top end speed, you know, really effectively. And when we go and we look from the front, and this is an important, you know, thing to be able to recognize here, is that, you know, we got to be able to use the transverse plane. And while, you know, I, I do like how Trayvon Bromel comes through, you know, like my preferred way of being able to coach 
sprinting is being able to land, you know, a little bit more on the outside part of the foot, on the more of the front part of the foot with that leg straight, right? So you can see that not only is his leg fully extended, but it's also straight as in his toes facing straight, his tibia is facing straight, his knees facing straight, his hips are facing straight. Everything is, is straight as he's landing. Ryan Baker's in that same thing where you can see Christian Coleman is turned more to the side, right? So his femur is facing over, or sorry, tibia facing over here, knee facing over here, femur facing over here. And, and that's a little bit more difficult to, to teach, but that is a necessary part of being able to run really fast is you have to have the ability to create transverse movement. So now as we transition onto the left side for Trayvon Bromel on the right side for Christian Coleman, we can see Trayvon Bromel has now turned slightly out to the side, right? And I, I've talked about this in a video in the past where it's like, you know, let's say the foot here is at zero degrees. Um, the recommendation is probably around like 20 degrees off to the side on the other side, right? Because that's what gets that transverse plane involved. Now, you know, everybody's going to be a little bit different there. Um, you know, some maybe 15% or, or 15 degree difference is going to be better. But point is, there does want to be some degree of rotation because what's happening is as he's going through and pushing off with the right foot here, he's rotating in a way to make it so now his hips rotating slightly off to the side within that lower body, which is allowing him to then, you know, utilize that force, absorb that force as that foot's hitting the ground, and then be able to rebound and push back into that right foot. So now he's rotating here because he, he landed a little bit more on the outside part of the foot, a little bit more rotated within that left leg, and he transitions and goes back into internal rotation within that left foot to then be able to propel himself forward, push off, and land back with that leg straight on the right side. So um, again, this is something that I think is going to be, you know, super necessary, but everybody's going to be different. If we look now at Christian Coleman and, and how he goes through it, he's much more turned out on the left side, right? So he's really on the outside part of the foot, but he gets a lot of internal rotation, again, similar to Trayvon Bromel. But then when he lands on his right side, he's really turned out here. And this isn't necessarily the greatest view here, but he's really turned out on the right side as well. Not as much, I would say, as he's not, he is on the left. But both sides, he's really externally rotated. So he gets a ton of internal rotation as he pushes off. He relies a lot on internal rotation. He's probably really tight through those hips. And, you know, that allows him to be able to, you know, generate a lot of force into the ground is how much, you know, rotational force he's getting on the ground. But it also takes away from some of his ability to maintain that sagittal plane movement, right? So this is why he gets kind of tired and fatigued as he's going through is because he's having to control so much extra rotational movement that he's going through where you can see Trayvon Bromel is much more efficient, right? And even Ronnie Baker, you know, I almost think Ronnie Baker would have won this over everybody if it was 100 because he's even more efficient with his body and, and how he's able to generate rotation. But, you know, again, look at how much extra movement Christian Coleman's getting, right? He's rotating so much in that upper body uh, and that's also happening within the lower body. And, you know, that while really helping him as he goes through the start and you know through his drive phase and obviously part of it has to do with his height uh, but he also is, is able to generate a lot of movement with with his height he's still able to you know even though he's shorter he's still generating a lot of movement in general he's a little bit wider he's a little bit thicker and you know because he's able to do that so quickly that's what propels him forward as he gets going through his start is he's just so he has so much momentum going so quickly there that then he's able to transition into his top end speed um you know effectively so you know you do want to be able to rely on different parts here right like i would say you want to have more of a christian coleman type of start drive phase but then you'll be able to better control that into more of a trayvon promel ronnie baker type you know top end speed and, and so really understanding you know how you can optimize your movement patterns to be able to maximize each part of the phase each step understanding you know how to utilize all planes of motion in order to make it so you run faster is really what i'm you know obsessive about learning and, and being able to teach and being able to help more people uh, improve and so you know that's why i'm a big proponent of the speed breakdowns and the speed program i do have an offer right now it's 47 dollars for a speed breakdown I, I think that's a great deal especially for any of you guys that are looking to improve improve within like your 40 yard dash or you know 60 100 whatever the case may be if you guys have some camps coming up you know I, I know a lot of people that are playing you know football and, and baseball probably don't watch these videos uh, but even if you're running track and you know want to make some small technique changes 
you know, $47 is not a lot and it's a full commitment on being able to help you guys out in, you know, improving your mechanics. So even if you take one thing, right, one nugget, is worth $47 a lot. I mean, I'll pay $5,000 for, you know, something that could help my business improve, whether that's through an advertising and marketing or being able to, you know, have a better email flow or whatever the case may be, you know, like it's all based on how much is it worth to you. So, you know, if making one small technique change is worth $47 to you, then, you know, go ahead and sign up because it's a money back guarantee. So if you don't get a nugget that helps you out, then you can get your money back. So it's really no risk to you. And then we also have obviously the speed program. That's more commitment. That's a better opportunity for you to succeed. Um, and it really gives you more overall value. But um, yeah, check out all that down below in the link. Again, thanks for watching. Click that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, comments, or recommendations, leave those down below and we'll talk to you soon.